Hello, uh, my name is Tony Magna, Integrated Heights Healing and Wellness Center, Southeast Wisconsin. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you some exercises that you can do um, with the Swiss ball. Um, so it's a really good uh, tool to use, um, especially if you're looking to uh, do, do a lot of core and hip stability work. Um, so I, I, use, I like to use it a lot in my preparation uh, for heavy lifting. Um, so, you know, heavy squatting, heavy cleaning. Um, you have to activate your core um, and your hips as, uh, as well. Um, so this is a really good tool to um, get, your, get your body to begin to stabilize your spine. Um, so it's really good for, uh, for your abs, really good for your lower back. Um, follow along, uh, email me with any questions that you may have, uh, but uh, let's get started. So the first one is just a basic, um, so you're going to be on the ball and you're going to rotate your hands out and you're going to uh, get yourself in push-up position just like this. And so the key here is don't let your hips sag and don't have your hips so far up in the ground. Your body should be in a straight line. So when you're in this position, you have to balance and you have to stabilize your spine. So the first movement that I'm going to have you do is you're going to bring your knee up to your chest and then back down and then up and then you're going to alternate. So the key here is keep the rest of the body still. And as you march, your, your core is engaged. Um, don't think about bringing the, uh, your knee to the ball. You want to get your knee above the ball. Okay. And don't round your, don't round your back when you, when you, uh, bring your knee to the chest. So your, your, uh, your body has to stay straight the entire time. Okay. So once you're, um, so you're going to do about 10 to 20, uh, each, each leg, and then uh, you'll go to the next exercise. And so after you, after you activate your core, um, you're going to lay on the ball. And so see how I'm leaning, uh, leaning up against the ball like this. I'm flat footed to begin with. And what you're going to do is you're going to just straighten your legs and just let your body straighten, straighten out over the ball. And then you'll roll forward. So keep your hands right at your shoulders, almost at your ears. So as you reach over your head, you're extending your body and you're looking for a stretch right here in your abdomen. So as you reach, okay, you're, you're looking to stretch and elongate your entire abdomen and your spine. And see how, and also notice that I'm on my heels here. And then you'll come back forward. So it's just a stretch. Um, don't, get, don't think too much about the number as it is uh, just trying to open up your, your chest, open up your spine, and uh, stretching out your abdomen. Okay? And so the next one, um, you're going to come back to the push-up position. Okay? Same as before, just like this. And so now, with the ball, you're going to draw a circle in each direction. So you'll circle it, and then you'll circle it the other direction. And so as you move this, you're changing the center of balance of your body as it's being supported. And so it's really going to get you to engage your core. Okay. So that's, uh, that's the next movement. So with, with your hands, you're circling the ball, but the rest of you doesn't move. Okay. Um, so you're going to do 10 in one direction and then 10 in the other. Okay. And so then we'll switch positions again. So we're going back and forth between a strength act, um, exercise for your core and then a mobility exercise. So it, uh, you get the combination of both. All right. So the next one, you're on your back and notice how I'm on my toes here. Okay. So I'm be my back is being supported right on the ball. And so what you're going to do, you're going to look away and you're going to do arm circles. Okay. Let your arm just circle up and around and you're going to go in each direction. And again, the number isn't so important as um, the range of motion, and you're just trying to unwind all the tension that you have in your shoulder, okay? But you're also activating your, your glutes as well because you're on your toes here. So try to keep your hips up as high as you can, and you're just doing arm circles, okay? And so that's the next one. And so now um, you're gonna have your hands straight up in front of you, and you're gonna cross your arms in front, and then you're gonna um, bring your arms open, but you're gonna do it quickly. So it's a dynamic stretch. So you're gonna let your arms just drop and you're opening and almost like you're flinging your arms open. And so you're trying to get some, again, it's a deep stretch in your tissue. So don't do it as fast as you can. Just let your arms drop and it should just nicely bounce up and down. And again, it's just a nice, a nice little stretch for your shoulder. But again, be careful with that one because if you do it too fast, I'm gonna pull your pec, okay? So nice and easy. So make sure that your shoulders are loosened up. 
before you start to do this, this one. Okay. Next one, you're going to come into a push-up position, same as before. So again, get your body in line, okay? And then you're going to work into doing a push-up off of the ball. So you'll bring your chest all the way down, and then you'll come all the way up. Slower the better, okay? Slower the better, okay? If that's too easy, you can put your feet up on a box like this. Stabilize, you'll come down, and then you'll push yourself back up, just like that. Nice and easy. Okay. And so now the next one, you're going to come on the ball, or you're going to be on the other side of the ball. So you'll start on your knees. Um, this one's for your shoulders and your upper back. So you're going to place your hands right on the ball, just like this. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll the ball forward, and you're going to let your head drop uh, below your arms here. And you can rock the ball back and forth, but you're looking for a stretch up here on your arm, and your arm is all the way extended. But you can see, because I have the, my hands on the top of the ball, my head is able to go below my shoulders and get a nice stretch there. Okay, you can do one, rock it back and forth. You can go out of the stretch, and you can come back into the stretch like this. Just like that. Okay, we'll go two more. So the next one, you're gonna start on your uh, on your back. So this one's for your hamstrings. You're gonna have your hands at the side. You're gonna lay all the way back. So from there, you're gonna start with your feet right on top of the ball, and you're gonna bridge your hips off the ball. So make sure you get your hips high. Your heels are on the ball, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your um, pull your heels to your butt as you bend your knees. So you're it's a hamstring curl. This is like that. So you can start it with two legs. Um, if it's too easy, you can pull one leg into your chest, just like this, and you're stabilized, and you can do it with just one leg, just like that. See that? Okay, just like that. Okay, and then the last one, uh, this one's tricky. So um, it's a really good one for to kind of help stabilization of your spine. So what you're gonna do is again, you're on your toes here, your arms are extended up over your head, and you're going to rotate the ball underneath your body, and, and you're going to roll onto one side. So I'm completely on the, on the side of the ball, and then you're going to roll to the other side. So it's really good for stabilization. So be heavy on the ball, and you're just rolling yourself all the way to the other side, okay, along your spine, okay. So one leg becomes bent, one is straight, and your arms and your entire spine are in alignment. See that? Just like that, okay? All right, so there's some exercises that you can do with, uh, with the Swiss ball. Um, obviously, there's, uh, there's more combinations, there's more work that can be done. Um, those are some of the, my go-to exercises when I'm uh, teaching people how to use this. Uh, so thank you.